Hoopla. Hoopla. Sounds like a Hoopla. lot of hoopla. Hoopla. Sounds like a lot of. Sounds and like a lot we're of. live again. Back to, your, back to good old Mario 2 hosting. Yeah. Uh, uh, my pop. This time we're using this equipment. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I know we got real <laughs> yeah. last time we did that. I like Vandalia. <laughs> no. Hmm. At, least it's, at least it hates Snick very, very, very much. Yeah, Snick rage moments. Anyway, before we get to our main topic, I like to re do a review of last week's topic because it never got very well. Have any of you guys ever got emotionally involved in a game character or something, like fictional, fictional character? you like, like, oh my fucking they fucking died, or like, or like your Saturday died, or you're like, good fucking riddance, I hate that character. Um, I guess for some I ever cried during movie was when Dobby died in freaking Harry Potter. <laughs> but that's about it. I haven't really gotten emotional like that since. So, and it is kind of funny too. Yeah, I think back on it. How about you, Mario? Uh, a game character, an anime character, or movie character, like you were like, you're like you're glad they were fucking dead, or you like, you're like, why they had to die? Bring them back! The only time, and this is a repeat from some previous episode, and I don't remember, but basically playing, uh, what's it fucking called? Medal of Honor Rising Sun, and oh. yeah, pretty much main character dies in the middle of the campaign, and I'm like, what the fuck? So you just, so you're just forced to play someone else now? Oh, great. Um, I guess a game that made me emotional, I guess, Super Paper Mario, I really like it, but it's, I didn't really get emotional thing, I just liked it. That much. What about gl glad, like, glad you were so much, but glad? Never really got glad. Well, I guess Legend of Spyro, when you finally get to kill the main death guy after three games of hyping him up, especially in the second game, and when you finally meet him in an attack, and it's super foreboding and cool, but... Like, I think... Oh. I think for character... game character, it would have to be when, uh, in, in days, when Shion, when Shion dies. That was sad for me. I know lots of people were emotional over it. Um, spoiler for Walking Dead season two or one, one of them. But when a certain character dies, and then um, wait, dead. which character? Um, the one Clementine shoots. You mean Lee? Yes. Yeah, a lot of dude. Yeah, there were a lot of people invested in that. In fact, right after he gets he, you no, know, she shoots him. You could actually hear him. What appears to be his dying breath, but in reality, it was the actor who played Lee struggling not to lose his shit, crying because of how emotional the scene was. <laughs> and then for anime, when I watched uh, in the Dom Europa 3 anime, when I saw Chucky die, being speared, getting all those spears through her, that was fucking sad to me. I don't, think I, ever, I, don't think I, I don't think I've ever been happy when the character died, really, in, in movies or anything. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever been like, good uh, fucking riddance to that fucking bastard or bitch. Oh, um, my mom did during the end of Harry Potter where Bellatrix got eviscerated. She was like, so. you bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah freaking Mo Molly Weasley going, not my daughter, you bitch. Yep. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that scene is super freaking, uh, I guess, relief. <laughs> I guess, like, oh, that let's, she's Let's gone. just say as soon as Molly Weasley said that line, uh, my dad actually, he, my dad jumped in the theater, like, like, <laughs> 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 
because he was still kind of young at the time, and I guess he wasn't expecting such a big curse word. Yeah. They, they copied that line for line from the books, so... They did. In fact, in fact, the actor who played Molly Weasley even said she wanted to say it word for word. It was probably her favorite line throughout appearing in all the movies. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give her... Uh. Oh, real quick, I just wanted to say one second thing. I now have an eighth amiibo on the way with Shulk, and then I think that's it. Oh, nice. So I'm really shifting it now. Sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm really shipping it. <laughs> you, think, you think people were sad back in the day when Simba's dad died or Bambi's mom died? Yes, verily. Verily. Good, good. Me. Suggestion. Me, I never really got sad over that, honestly. I guess I was just too young to realize, but uh, I never definitely I phased I me. Think I, I think I was 14 when Simba came out, so I mean, I was. Simba, um, Simba came like, out? Okay, well. Lion. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, think, I, don't, I don't know if I was, like, like crying over it. I think I was. It's like, dang. I mean, I think I was. I, I think I might have been young when I saw Bambi, but I don't really, honestly, I don't remember the Bambi mom part dying when I was young. Even though I don't know if I just blocked it out of my memory, or it's like I didn't see that part. Bambi, yeah. Bambi, like, oh, I don't why I don't remember it as a kid. Why? Because even though my mom put on Bambi a couple of times when I was a kid, I would always zone out right after the point when Bambi's first born. So pretty much, I would not be paying attention for the whole rest of the movie. In fact, I think my ma had to tell me that freaking Bambi's mom got shot. Oh, I did. Yeah. And because I didn't, because stupid elementary school schnick didn't care, I was like, eh. Well, I, I it's, it. it's like um, it's like you zone out right before Bambi is born. So when Bambi is gonna come into play two hours in the. <laughs> Where's what, Bambi? Why is, why is it about his right. mom? Yeah, I'm not sure this was a Disney movie, but another thing I I, I do remember watching this as, when I was young was Old Yeller. Oh, yeah, I've seen the Old Yeller. It, I think I read it first, and then I was watching a movie about it, but I didn't see the very end part. I didn't know about the about the whole thing, and I, it was like, dang. Seeing the dog, up. I'm like, like doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, dog. Dog dog with the mouth. Oh, it's a gun there. Like, like, boom. It was very unfortunate. But, um, I didn't cry. I got emotional around like, dang, that sucks. But I didn't I'd cry over it. Is that crying in the background? No, it's no, his brother's being stupid. stupid. Oh, they're like, somebody actually was crying over, over it. He's drifting away. Uh, it's just his brother being dumb. Uh, yeah, so yeah. What about, what, what about you, Snick? You're gonna enter that. I mean, you see your dad, what about you? What about what? You ever get emotional about anything? Uh, I don't know. Fiction I mean, to, to talk about the other big Disney death, freaking Mufasa from Lion King. That one I actually paid attention to, and I think that was when I learned the concept of death. The cons. I think. I can't say for certain. Like, like my first death TV was Mr. Hooper on Sesame Street. Like, let's Aww. just let's just say that historically, I've never gotten too emotional over death. Like, not even in real life. Like, I guess you could say I some I usually just block it out because I feel like it would just get in the way because obviously you can't undo it, so what's yeah. the use of moping about it? True, but it's funny on games and movies and stuff, not only did the character die, they had that music go with it, like dramatic music, like the height well, of Of course situation. they have the music going along with, like, I'll tell you this much, like, usually when the music goes along with it, that's when it can maybe get me a bit. I mean, it's obviously... I'm not a freaking heartless bastard like DSP who always makes fun of deaths of characters in games. Like, like I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. 
Wow. Snake, I like, feel like that's exactly why it's so let's sad. Let's just say doable. for, yeah, like freaking on the topic of get away from dark side. Uh, it didn't work. Let's, let's get away from dark side, Phil, quickly. Let's just say probably one of his most infamous moments was a key death scene in Metal Gear Solid 2. And, and I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil anything. Let's just say instead of focusing in on the like let's just say it's probably one of the heaviest deaths in the whole series. Like it has the muse like it has the music, it like all the events leading up to it are actually very tragic. It's con probably considered one of the saddest death games ever. DSP instead focuses in on making sexual noises and freaking saying, Ooh, incest! Incest! Yummy, yummy, yummy! What the fuck? He actually said something like that? Yeah, he did. Ooh! <laughs> like, <laughs> all, everything I freaking did was more or less not exactly what he did, but it was very similar. What? Let's just and again, I don't, I don't have confidence that DSP is going to be around too much longer. I mean, he did lose his curse partnership, so another nail in his coffin has been drilled. Curse? Wasn't that supposed to be the fucking, like, one of the talking applications, like Skype, until it became Twitch? No. Well, no, the thing is, Curse is, like, one of the biggest net partnerships that people who play games can get. Freaking, they had enough of his bullshit, and they dropped him, and he's been unable to get another one. So, yeah, I don't have confidence that uh, DSP's gonna be around too much longer, because he only makes, like, 700 bucks a month on Patreon. And he does, he also he also is on Twitch, but the thing is he's gotten suspended a couple of times, so people are wondering what's gonna be, when is he eventually gonna do something that could get him banned. But yeah, like let's just say me meant that the death that moment in MGS two is one of many reasons why MGS two became the very first this is how you don't play. But you know without spoil yes. without spoiling anything, does anyone know what scene I'm talking about? No. All right, then all I'm gonna say is that um, it's a very cru crucial scene that DSP fucked up. I wonder mm -hmm. if um, I wonder what he would do if he didn't have the internet to back him up, just in real life. Like what job he would be? He would be the boss from Mister Incre er, from The Incredibles. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my god, he claims to be... He claims to have a business degree. Exactly. But, yeah, so... Yeah, but... I will say... When it, Shh! Quiet. When it comes Damn. to stories impressing me, it, that, it doesn't happen very often. Like, But, yeah, there's not that many deaths that have left me affected, so to speak. Though there were ones where I would be like, aw, they died. Like, freaking, I'll tell you this much, freaking, I completely hated when freak. One of the reasons why I hate Telltale's Walking Dead Season 2 was because they killed off characters I le the few characters I legitimately liked just for the sake of killing everyone off. Hmm. Not because it had any depth to it, but just because, hey, we're walking dead, dark, depressing, greedy, no fun, no happiness, sh kill everyone. Everyone's dead. Not even scary. the TV series was that grim, let's be honest. Hmm. It, it, like, it gets to a point where it's like, okay, we get it, it's the friggin' zombie apocalypse. You, you, pooed, you proved your point. Yeah, it's kind of like, what's the fun in watching Walking Dead if all you're gonna do is be sad watching kids? Yeah, like at the very le at the very least, the TV series is kind of gloom, but at the very least, it knows when to have dumb action to alleviate it a bit. 
This is my never guy about the Walking Dead TV series. So apparently, apparently, in that I mean, that, it's that, not a good series, like especially so, recently. So, so apparently, but, but, but I see the first few episodes of it, or Wikipedia. So apparently, everyone, every human in the, in the world has had that virus. Period. For the world. Of it, it. Well, no, the thing is, it that's how it worked in the classic George Romero movies. You die, you automatically the, a zombie. Yeah, in the Romero movies, no matter how you die, if as long as the brain is fully attacked, you come back. What about every part of you dies except for the brain? Will you become gross? Well, no, oh, if every part, like, no, like, for instance, if you cut the head off, as long as the brain is intact, the head will reanimate, though at that point, it's basically harmless, unless you intentionally put your finger up to their mouth or something. <laughs> Something a freaking kid. Charlie. Charlie bit my. Those kids ought to be really old by now. Like they're probably in their teens, maybe even they're going to school. Pretty sure they went to um Ellen once. We're probably thinking, stop talking about it already. (laughs) No, they're probably like, stop. You're not gonna like it. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, like that, like, that, that freaking baby that does bite, the baby that bites his older brother, he probably might be, he, like, it might be almost, I really hope it's not a Jake Lloyd scenario where everyone just references it in front of them. They're like, like, do it again, do it again, I'm I'm at my job right now, leave me alone. Or poor T.J. Henry Yoshi. No, not the bathroom, get a drink. Poor T.J. Henry Yoshi. Uh, Oh, before we get to our main topic for SNET, anybody else have anything to talk about? Um, not really. I mean, the only thing recently going on with ah! me is I'm just trying to get my PC fixed up, so... So I could stream and use Photoshop so my production will be a lot faster and a lot smoother. Because I don't have to use my phone as much. I don't want to have to rely on my phone for as much stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, speaking of that... I think I finally decided. If you can, you, you've done this. I think I finally decided what I want my, my maybe what I want my uh, icon to be for Twitch emote. Okay, what? A uh, purple and yellow, 1998. Hello. Maybe maybe a VB that's 98, like VB that's 98. Like, oh. You are like, the Van Gilder. V and D, like a V, v and, and D. V and B. B and B. Why the B? That was the name of my... Vendelia Butler City School System was the name of where I grew up at. Oh. <laughs> I can make that real fast, but again, my thing hopefully. doesn't export the right PNG type file, so... It, it, hopefully, it's, uh, yeah, we can find out if it works this time or not. Again, I might have to use Photoshop for that once I get the Adobe products from Brandon. Well, all, all you out there, soon you'll, you'll use my emotes. Just click. Three months later. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're going to try tomorrow, so. Alright. Scrack, scrack bandicoot. But I might need to do something with my uh, freaking Wi-Fi still. My Wi-Fi adapter. I might have to get a new Wi-Fi adapter. So that's the only thing preventing me from streaming so far. So, again, preventing you from streaming. Are you rich yet, Brandon? What? Are you, are you rich yet? His, he hasn't no. gotten his pay yet. Unfortunately, somehow. He is not what? Brandon can explain it. As, as, as if Brandon was rich yet. <laughs> oh, is talk- Brandon rich yet? Uh. He's talking about his paycheck. I already I already used up all of my paycheck. What? Oh, wow. I mean, I've, the bank's holding 240 from from my first deposit, and they won't get to me just yet, which is stupid, but... What, like what for your insurance or something or what? It's like here you no, go. they're just hold, they're just having it on hold because it was my my first deposit with them. 
What the fuck? That sounds fucking stupid. So what do you mean they're holding it? Like they're just keeping it for themselves? No, fuck. they're holding it. They're holding it for a while before I'm able to use it, which is just fucking retarded. What the fuck? This what bank do you That use? makes no sense. What bank are you with? U.S. Bank. Oh well, U.S. First National Bank or something like that. Yeah. They do that? No, wow. Oh my God. They, they do, oh, my bank didn't do that. Dude, if they if my fucking bank pulled that shit, I would probably close the account with them as soon as they try that shit. All oh, money gone. No, it, no, I take my money out and then I close the account. Cause that's fucking ridiculous. If they're gonna pull that shit, then fuck them. Here, here's uh, my deposit. That, Sorry, you can't use the money right apparently now. Apparently, I'm not able to use it for five five business days. But today's the fifth business day, and they still haven't put the funds back for uh, me to available to use. You can't use your own money. Wow. That's fucking Sorry, stupid, it. Brandon. That that is retarded as hell. Chase never did that with me, so I guess I got lucky. Because apparently. You, they do that to everyone who who first deposits their first check. I think Vinny worked at a Chase Bank. He, he um, did. Yeah, Vinny Vinesauce. Oh. He worked on. He worked in a bank before he became a big streamer. Damn. By the way, I do have my websites ready in order to take part in my glorious topic. Apparently he hated it because everyone inside the bank was super toxic about how they went about things, like how they did business with people. Like, basically, everyone inside the bank was trying to scam people, and he just hated it. Hmm. What? Jesus. Uh, act actively trying to do that. Alright, so we go to the topics, then I guess it's Nick's turn. So are you going to screen share, or what are you doing? Um, I can screen share it, or I can just read it out loud. Just read it out loud. Yeah, because mean? you're gonna have to listen. I'm gonna bring the microphone much closer. What's the topic? And mean? the topic is email scams. Just call it that. Oh. The I truth is, the there's a lot of these scam emails, because I could actually make this a recurring topic in later episodes, but today, I wanted to focus in on email scams targeting babysitters. That sounds stupid. So, yeah, let's just say there are scammers, normally from Nigeria, who target teenage <laughs> girls trying to oh, teenage no. girls or like women tr or even men because there are men that are babysitters or um, really old nannies no well yeah old basically anyone or, who wants to be a babysitter they are targets of these scammers typically the way the scammer does it i mean care.com does have a I mean, well, Care.com is a really shitty website from what I've heard. Um, but they do have a topic. They do have a freaking article discussing it, except they only mention a scenario that has long since been retired. Like, like the yeah, scenario they mentioned is that the family is coming from overseas. And they want you to buy toys for the kid. They give you a check to buy toys for the kids, and it also has your first week's pay in advance. And you are forced to send the money to a supposed toy company, which is really just another front for the scammer to take your money. A well, toy company? Well, like... Huh? A toy company? Who disconnected? What, Brandon? No, it's not. No, it's not really a toy company. Really, it's just a sock puppet account for the scammer. Mm-hmm. Not scam.com. Not scamming in Nigeria.com. Dot Nigeria. Typically, overseas. The parents coming from overseas scenario. I've basically seen that scenario retired. 
Most of the scenarios I've seen recently involve a little kid being in a wheelchair and the money you're given in a check is your first week's pay and money you need to spend for a motorized wheelchair. Well, a full wheelchair, yeah. Yeah, and like, let's just why say... Why would you hire a babysitter to hire a wheelchair? Let's just say nine times out of ten, this kid is so young that how could they drive a motorized wheelchair? And number like, two, these two kids are usually... not. Nine times out of ten, these kids are not fully disabled. So why are you spending so much money on something you're not going to need for long? Yeah, it's like, oh, our kid has our two-year-old kid with a broken arm needs a motorized wheelchair pronto. We'll pay you in advance three dollars, but first you have to pay for the three thousand dollar wheelchair. Right now. Right, anyway. right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go to the first link I've opened. That I have available, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read a topic or um because essentially I went on the website Scam Warners where I read a lot about this scam, and let's just say many victims that usually don't fall for it. Thank God. Um, they would just post their emails that they received just so that people would know who the scammers are and know not to trust them. But then they could just make more accounts. Okay. But, but, um, here what's, we go. but from from that, but when he read, te, but from when Stick did a test a preview of this on over the Skype a few days ago, apparently a lot of these emails are exactly fucking the same almost. Wow. Well, like, yeah, a lot of, of them. That that is a telltale sign with a lot of these scams. A lot of them are on that very same pre-made script with just a few words and names changed around. Lazy. Well. And they don't even try. Most of the time, they don't even try to hide it. Not even trying to get free money. Oh, let's just say I said when I previewed this a couple of days ago. I said I came across my personal favorite. No, I found one where the scammer was just was just a complete idiot, and that one is my personal favorite. Mm. I will save that one for last. <laughs> okay. Nice stoplight. Caution, tomatoes, nice sign. What? Okay, okay. What? Here is one post I found. You ready? Gosh, so, this one is kind of unique from the other ones. So, the victim claims that they were looking for a part time job and came across this posting. I believe it's. Um, she says CL. I'm assuming that's Craigslist. All right, so here's what the the Craigslist ad said. We are a relaxed, friendly family with two children aged five, nearly three. Keep in mind, I'm going to be reading these word for word. Mistakes and everything. We are looking for some help with school runs and babysitting. We need someone between 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. three mornings a week, and then between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. on Wednesdays and Thursdays, and either Monday or Tuesday in addition. There will be more opportunities for more hours of babysitting, and we are likely to need some more help in school, help in the school holidays too. We need someone who likes playing with children, but who, you know what the, you know what the ad actually doesn't look that bad. Jesus Christ. The victim responds to the ad, and then, oh, here we go. Here's what the scammer replied. Thanks so much for your interest in Our Nanny. Our Nanny. <laughs> yup. The victim applied to be a nanny, and apparently the quote-unquote family is, in is happy that the victim is interested in their nanny. Wow. <laughs> Alright, here we go. 
after a comma and not a period. My name is Barbara and my husband name is Dave. We are in the process of relocating from NY, NYC to your city and we need someone who can help us with some of the household chores. I need some air necessary and in taking care of our two kids. And Melissa three years and David five years as if they're yours. Commas, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We need help with life. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> everything I said is in, was e everything I said Shut in up. the email was there word for word. You would only be needed for a few hours per week at your convenience and would like you to get back to me with your available hours, although we are willing to pay four hundred dollars weekly and forty dollars per extra hour. Provide the following information for the name contact address, no P.O. box, apartment number, city, state, zip code, home and cell phone. <laughs> zip code? Keep in mind, I'm going to be saying, zip, I am going to be saying zip code like that because some pretty incompetent scammers refer to an address as a zip code. Uh, are you fucking serious? Uh, zip code? Yep. I want the beep code. Sound like okay, you said I want give, you, just give me your social security number and your phone number and your bank account number and your email account number. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. I hear my parents screaming in the background, go, 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 no! As I shoot down the frickin' Rainmaker. <laughs> wow. Oh. They're playing secretly. <laughs> wow. Oh. Now, then, out of nowhere, they list a whole bunch of questions. What hours will you prefer daily to allow us to us? No, what hours will you prefer daily to allow us to plan our schedule before arrival? 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. to 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. to 11 a.m. to 11 a.m. Whoever's doing that, please stop. Sorry, it's stupid stuff's happening. Alright, how old are you? Are you married? Can you handle money if you are given a, an assignment to carry out for our family? Building up to the check. Well. Can you kill yourself? Tell me what your first language is, if not English. I can tell you your first language ain't English. It's, Espe it's not Espanol, it's Hindu-Indiano. Well, no, a lot of the babysitting scammers African. are actually located in Africa. Oh, so it's an Africanese. Yeah, hmm? yeah, I, I get a lot of scam emails from Nigeria. Like, I'm in Nigeria. I am stuck at this hotel. Please help me. Please help. I am in and jail for scamming. Is explain I why you are a great nanny slash housekeeper. I am stuck in the. Are they seriously using freaking Hotel Rwanda as a freaking thing to try and get free money? That's really. Yeah, they're nice using thing. Hotel Mario. No. The more I think about it, the more I wonder if there's any scams about fucking Super Nanny. The show. Well. Like, if there's any scammers All trying right. to pose this. I'm gonna the read through this email. I'm gonna find if it's interesting. All right, hang on. Here we go. I am Nanny McVee. I could pay your children. Like, hi, but... I'm Mary Poppins. Yeah, I'm Mary Poppins. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Poppins. Please pay five thousand dollars in advance. So I can. Hang on a sec. So I can hang get my flying uh, umbrella. Hang on, on a sec. We umbrella. we. I have a great email here. Oh my god, the scammer did not just do this. Here we go. Alright, here's another- here's a completely different victim who posted some emails that he or she got, because I'm not- I'm not sure from the username if it's a man or a woman. Alright, so here's the email. Hello, thank you for your response. I live in Michigan, but we are moving to your area on the- on 8th of November. I, will I, like let you know. say, I like how they say your area instead of a specific city or not. They're just saying it as general as possible. Yeah, 
see, that's another telltale sign, and a lot of them do that. Not all of them do, but a lot of them do. There's some that, on rare occasions, they will put a specific location, but then other times, they most of the time, they just put your area. I couldn't find the email for this one, but I, rem I distinctly remember reading one where they say the your area shit and then they ask for the person's address that's when they look up on the that's when they look up on freaking Google Maps what address they should need to select in order to continue the scam the victim uh, outright said the victim outright said but I don't want to give my address can I meet you first and then the scammer responds with no no the reason why I ask for your information is because I need to know what hotel to stay at what hotel? I'm sorry, but what? I need to know your hotel location. I need to know right what now. car you drive, so I can know what bus stop you take. I need to know what what people to contact around you. I need to know how much money to bring. I need to know your social security number so I can steal your identity, steal your monies, and come to America. It's so then I know yeah. where I can live. I need to know yes. 100 you know, access to your PayPal. Yeah, yes, yeah, Mario. They can't. They, you can't babysit their kids. You live two states away. <laughs> so, so yeah. I don't, no, the whole thing is the funny. The thing is, people who at the very few people that actually fell for this actually as well as people that didn't fall for it all the way. They were always worried if the scammers would do anything with their information, but the thing is, generally, unless you gave away information pertaining to your money, you don't have anything to worry about. They're not gonna, they're not gonna travel all the way across the globe just to go hunt you down, since they have millions of other victims to go after yeah. instead with scams. The most they would do is just continue sending spam to your email address, but it will go away over time. Yeah, because then they'll be they realize like, oh, this person's not worth milking. Knuckles basketball. <laughs> but I, t I tell you this much, I would frequently re when on message boards pertaining to the scams. A frequent reply I would read to concerned victims was, ironically, one from a previous... <laughs> Sorry. Like, ironically, I would always read replies that... to concerned victims that, ironically, were from a pre-made script. And legit, they would always end with, Now that you have responded to the scammer, you're on his potential shucker list. He will be trying again to scam you forever and ever and ever. Yeah, all right. Which is not true. Be quiet, please. And... Alright, let's resume reading this email. Should I restart because you may have forgotten what the, the first sentence was? Sure. Hello! Thank you for your response. I live in Michigan, but we are moving to your area on 8th of November. I will let you know the address once I pay for the rent. I will need a housekeeper immediately between the hours of 8 a.m. through 1 p.m., Monday to Friday, and the rate is $15 an hour. An hour. Do let me know if the time works. More importantly, I will be living with my son and mom. My son is six years old, and he will be going to school. My mom is 66 years old. I did not read that wrong. It does say mom. <laughs> why? Why? They, they have they, a Pokemon with them? They, have awesome. the, they speak in such a weird language. Like, they form their sentences so weird. I live with my son and mom. More people would say, oh, with my mother and son. Like, it's so yeah, weird like, how they form their sentences. Well, see, that's why a lot of the a lot of people on scam wars know that these scammers are from Africa, since the, the their strange language does match up with how most people in like Nigeria would try to speak English that aren't yeah. like perfect in the language. Because a lot of people from foreign countries do have their own ways of forming English. Yeah. So. 
All right, here we go. My mom is 66 years old. She is currently placed on a wheelchair due to an accident she had some weeks ago. She can walk a few distance, though the... A few distance. Distance. A few distance. <laughs> we can walk a few inch. <laughs> Shit, like what's the conversion they use? Ah, fuck she it, can, uh, <laughs> She can move a few units, but... <laughs> Yeah, she can walk a few distance though, but the specialist advised she uses the chair for a while, so I'm planning... No. The specialist. But the specialist advised she uses the chair for a while, so am planning of getting her powered wheelchair. Isn't that a I freaking... It sounds like a movie, The Specialist. <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will let you know as soon as we finalize issues. I really need an honest and responsible housekeeper to take care of our home. This could be a temporary slash permanent job. It depends on what your schedule no! looks like, but I'd like to be sure if you are available the first month. I would like you to send me your complete name, address, and cell phone number so I can include that to my payroll for the period. I will also like you to tell me a few things about yourself. Here is a little about me. I am a single mother, I am 42 years old, and I am 75% hard of hearing. What? Se no. I don't think that's something you could measure. <laughs> don't do it. 75%? Yeah, yes. 75%. Why not? I am 100. 1% old. <laughs> I am hard of hearing, but only 70 for first sight of. Only 75% of that is actually hard. It's like... I can't hear people, but when I can, they always say... They always say that. Alright, I have lived in New York ah, most of my life, but dog. I am moving to your area in a few weeks. I have my own business, self-employed. Which is based on the development and canceling of the deaf people in the community. <laughs> the deaf what? people? Deaf. Deaf. Wow. wow. Freaking scammers, apparently their fake jobs is taking care of deaf people. Uh, the development and canceling of the deaf people. Stop. The development of deaf people? I'm so the confused. development and canceling. It, what do you I mean, mean canceling? So they're so they're giving birth to and killing off deaf people apparently. Apparently, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they mean death note as in the anime. No. Maybe they maybe yeah. they do know about death note. I don't no. know. No. Like, but yeah, the whole <laughs> thing, yeah, as you can see, these scammers are sick in the head because of that shit. They're always sick in the head. Brain dead. Alright, so, I am never married and I attend the Catholic. <laughs> the Catholic. The Catholic. Uh, I am slight I alcoholic. <laughs> I am 20%. I am 20% Budweiser. He attends the original Catholic Church, like the original Catholic. And my alcohol. I am my I am twenty five percent. Period. <laughs> my my browser of choice is Chromium. <laughs> my browser of choice is Fergie Fox. No. My Bowser of uh, choice is Internet Bowser. Explorer. <laughs> Internet My Safari. My browser of choice is Bowser.net. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you will get to know more when we meet. Kindly include in your email your picture, your complete name, address, and your mobile number. So it's and so I can text you in case I need to pass an urgent information. An urgent information. <laughs> an urgent. Nice. It would have been better if it's a urgent. Kind. Are you a urgent person? Uh, that's the end of the first one. The... Shh. 
All right, that's the end of the first one. The second one has the most stuff in it, but a lot of it's generic, so I don't have to go over it for too long. What is your genetics? <laughs> All right, are we are we ready? Do you frequently call oh, yeah. this off? All right, here's one that has on um, the email. Hello. This one is a bit unique. Um, this one actually... Or wait a minute. Shit, it's not unique. <laughs> no. Copy no, I, I, I'm just a little con I'm just a little confused because the username <laughs> of the victim is Michelle, yet the email refers to someone called Casey. Wow. N nice scam. Alright. So here we go. Hello, Casey. Thank you for applying to my job opening. I do hope to have a good reference with you at the end. I am relocating to Virginia with my daughter, who will be three years old this October, and seeking a good caregiver for her for the first five months. Am hearing impaired, so we will be talking mostly through text and email. Wow. How convenient. <laughs> Yeah, hearing. Yeah, okay. freaking keep in mind, these scammers don't seem to understand that actual deaf people learn sign language. Yeah. They seem to or think that they, they only could, text. Or if you're my cousin, they my cousin straight up learned how to freaking read lips while she was deaf. Well, so the thing is, reading pocket. lips is another thing they said. What? Oh, the Facebook video. But yeah, keep in mind, they just use that an ex as an excuse to not video call you. Or just to just not call me on the phone. Alright, here we go. I am employing two caregivers for the first five months because I need a long-term caregiver and would love to know Nancy's comment on each of the babysitters to decide who is going to be with her permanently. I am a medical counselor at the Wisconsin State Schools for the Deaf and the Blind. Wow. I am starting a new appointment with the hearing impaired at the Virginia College and James Madison College. What? Uh oh. I think I get the it. The hearing impaired? The hearing impaired. Oh. Okay. I would be at a Madison Square Garden. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and evening. Yeah, 9 p.m. Mondays through Fridays, respectively, because I work long hours. The start date is October 18th. The end date is February. What? How did I fall through? Let me know the schedule that suits you and where you would like to care for her. Do we have the option of dropping her at your house or you coming for her at the hotel? Either ways works fine with me. I just want to make sure she is fine. I will be glad if we can set up an interview on the 16th and discuss about the kid fun activities. I would be interested kid in... Kid fun? Yeah, kid fun. Kid fun. I Phantom want to kid fun activity. Kid fun with Do you pets. like kid fun, fun kid activity? Activity? Let's just say there's... Let's just say there's a version of... I actually once came across an email that was the exact same script, except it concerned an elderly old lady that was supposedly the scammer's mom, and they replaced kid fun activities with adult activities. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hard. Man, I really appreciate your kid. Shopping hard. What? Did he chomping horn? Who did? <laughs> oh yeah, ah. him. I guess so. Chomp horn. <sighs> chomp horn. All right. Hang. Now here is Charming. the. The email I'm about to read is easily the most common email thread I was reading when I first discovered this scam. Easily, this pre-made script was what the scammers loved using at the time I discovered this. I don't know what they do today, but... Alright, here we go. Thank you for replying to my text. 
I'm moving to your area on 20th of October, and will, I will need a nanny for my son immediately. His name is Joe, six years old, and the time will be from <laughs> 9 a.m. <Joe. laughs> <laughs> Drinking Joe, the six-year-old. Hey, Peter. You want to go down to the meter and beat her? I need a big <laughs> soon. Hey, and the time Jimmy would be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays only, depending on your availability. So this one's a little bit different because the intro was a bit more extended from what I remember. All right, this is a long-term position, but it's fine to start temporary. Some weekdays are also flexible if you are available, but we may need to discuss that in person. Oh, keep in mind, sometimes they do swap it around towards the weekdays instead of the weekends, except it might be, like, in the middle of the school year, and you'd have to be watching that kid from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. when, for most of that period, they, they're supposed to be in school. I just need my PSX. That hurt. Oh. Did anyone get like, it? Uh-huh. As soon as you said, Al, I need Fox, and then you said you need your PSX. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> so... Uh-huh. Did anyone get what I said, though? Uh-huh. No. Say that again. Uh, Alright, so... So notice how they say weekends, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Oh, yeah. I, uh-huh. At least a few... Uh-huh. At least a few times, they would switch it to weekdays, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., except it would be the middle of the traditional American school year, so essentially that kid you're supposed to be watching is supposed to be in school for most of that time. <laughs> what the fuck? They're homeschool. <laughs> Goes to show you where the sender's from, because I think in quite... Guys, aren't schools not normalized in some African and Indian country, like Africa and India and all that? Well, I mean, obviously schools exist, but but some countries it's not required by law. It, it would probably um, they would probably say like, oh, the child's homeschooled. Did you try to even talk about that? I yeah, home, yeah, they might claim homeschooling when all they're learning is the ways of the scammer. I mean, that's not the stereotype, because obviously there's great people that come from anywhere in the world, but still, you can't deny there's a hell, hell of a lot of scammers in um, countries that aren't fully developed yet. Yeah, it's like saying, like, oh, Chinese areas has bootlegs. That's not really a stereotype. It's just true because hell, the Chinese doesn't have are copyright. Made. Amiibos are made in China. Yeah, because of freaking uh, no copyright laws. China is the real USA manufacturer. What? It's funny, especially since YouTube is banned in China. I've had some scam stuff from Vietnam. YouTube and video games are banned in China. Yeah, Vietnam, I don't remember (laughs) that much scamming stuff. I've had some scam... I've had some right. scanned uh, SD cards from there in Vietnam. Oh, SD cards. Yeah, that would make sense. Just bad repos. Hey, kid. All right, anyway, we know let's of read some card on the dark web. Bye now. All right, let's read some more. Sorry. Um, I'm willing to pay 18 an hour. I believe it's a great thing. I'm paying that much because I want quality care for my son. Let me know when you can start. I lost my husband and a four months old baby in December. What? Oh, I lost my hundred. Yeah, husband. I lost my months. husband and a four months old baby in December. What? She lost her husband and her baby. That's stupid. No, not her baby. A baby. What? <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not. yeah, that that was my sister's baby that I lost, unfortunately. <laughs> I didn't even hear what you said. I have to rewatch the podcast. Should have been. It should have been my baby, honestly. <laughs> All right, here we go. It was my I late husband's a... birthday. It was my late husband's birthday. He decided to take the kids husband's? out for the fly with work. My late uh, husband. You just. Oh, it sounded my like you late. said husbands. Yeah, oh, I I wish it. I I wish that the B was not in there, so it could have been husbands. But all right, <laughs> here we go. 
he decided to take the kids out while I was still at work. Joe happens to be the only survival from the axe, but he currently uses a wheelchair. I the only have... survival <laughs> from yeah. the axe? What axe? <laughs> Sad. Stupid axe! Curse yeah, the from body axe. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no, all those kids are burned to death from the freaking axe explosion. <laughs> axe explosion? Excuse me? What the fuck? Hey man, I made an axe out of explosives. Watch this! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Here we go. I have had terrible times in the last few months, and this is one of the reasons I have decided to move, because staying here brings back some sad memories. Keep in mind that in most versions of this, they basically moved three times in the, within the span of a couple of months. Mm, what the fuck? Well... Like, I will demonstrate exactly how they say it if I come across an email. In fact, you know what? Fucking, it doesn't matter. I'll go find one because basically I'm going to be reading the exact same rest what? of it. They're all just like, like, oh, kid in a wheelchair, he's about, si about six, need caregiver, H husband dead, other kid dead. Oh. All right, I found one that I actually wanted. Oh no, I found a chain that I need to read. All right, where where the fuck is it? Okay, here's what it normally reads at the beginning. I recently moved from Phoenix to Michigan with my family, but I'm moving to your area on such and such and such date. Well, god damn it. All right, now you know I'm gonna go back to the other one. I'll be back real fast. Never mind, I don't have to. I'm gonna start with the good one. Let's just say the way this chain ends is kind of golden. Maybe not so much golden because let's just say the my personal favorite is one where the scammer did no not know how to scam. <laughs> like sc scamming for newbies. Yeah. <laughs> Noob scamming. All right. So here's one from a supposed Sally Richardson, the scammer, that is. Keep in mind that obviously these names are fake, and even though they're usually single moms, um, they're, uh, they most likely are men sitting in an internet cafe trying to contact millions of people per month. <laughs> Alright. The first email is... Thanks for your response. I live in Phoenix, but I'm moving to your area on the on 31st of October, and I will need a babysitter for my six years old son immediately between the hours of 8:30 a.m. to 1:30 p.m. Mondays is through Fridays. Is. I hope this... you are able to. This how how how, how do they spell that? Mondays Fridays. They put apost they put apostrophes between the s's. <laughs> Oh, S's. I think it's a Z's. Like, like... They put apostrophes between the S's. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was apostrophe Z. Like, they still have the it's Z. Monday is through Friday is. Uh... I hope you are available this hours, but if you are not, let me know your availability because I might still be needing your services on weekends and the time would be from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturdays and Sundays only. I am willing. To, I am willing to pay fifteen dollar an hour and eighteen dollar an hour on weekends. I believe it's a great pay, and I am paying that much because I want quality care for my son. That I whole am thing. willing to pay a dollar for Merlin. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking a dollar for Merlin. And by the way, that whole thing was one sentence. That's why I read it that way. Fucking. <laughs> I will freaking pay you not even middle school. <laughs> Seriously, even middle school schnick freaking didn't make this many mistakes. And this is fall middle for school the scams. schnick. This is middle school schnick versus a grown ass man. Schnick, do Big you want old eight dollar hour? Nigerian scammer. I mean, who knows how old the scammers are? 
It could be I mean, anywhere. Yeah, ranging. they could be fairly young, but the thing is, I think English is actually kind of commonly spoken in Nigeria because I think it's one of the more developed countries in Africa to begin with. Mm. Um, but here we go. Uh, I really need an honest and responsible caregiver for him. This could be a temporary slash permanent job. It depends on what your schedule looks like and cooperation, but I do like to be sure if you are available the first month. I lost my husband in a 14 months old baby in February. It was my late husband's birthday, and he decided to take the kids out while I was still at work. Jason happens to be the only survivor from the accident, but he currently uses a wheelchair. Keep in mind that's the first time the kid's name is mentioned. Oh. Uh, here's that wheelchair again. Oh. Oh, no. I, there is one I need to read before I get to the good one, because is that one probably... The one... Because the one I'm thinking of just now probably has the most broken English I've read out of all of them. <laughs> and it's kind of funny to read. It's like they use Google Translate. No, I think they, I think they use that. It probably be better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Google Translate would be better at Scammer's English. <laughs> wow. Uh, I found it. I found it. I think I fucking found it. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? No. Yeah, yeah, scam wars, scam wars. Yeah, I found it. No. Thank you. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, I fucking found it. I found it. Yes. All right, let's read the rest of Miss Sally Richardson, whoever that is. All right. All right. I have had terrible times in the last few months, and this is one of the reasons I have decided to move to a new area, because staying here brings back some shad memories that probably don't even exist. <laughs> no, they don't exist. No, well, they do exist. Unless, unless they just have to do with themselves in real life. That's a scammer. Alright. I am planning on getting him a powered wheelchair, and I have contacted a seller. I will have let... I will let you know as soon as we finalize issues. I would like... I would like you to send me your complete name, address, and cell phone number so I can include that to my payroll for the period. I would also like you to tell me a few things about yourself and availability, weekdays or weekends. Here is a little about me. I am a shingle mother. I am 39 and I am hard of hearing and can communicate via writing, le reading lips, or text messaging. I attended... Huh? Did that just say I can communicate via lips? <laughs> yeah, via reading lips. <laughs> reading lips? Oh yeah, I so think what they're going for is they actually put they actually put their fucking finger on your lips and, li and fucking feel how your freaking lip movements are. <laughs> <laughs> That's they how they, sh lips. they shoved the <laughs> hand in your mouth. At least that's how people who are both blind and deaf have to do it, like Helen Keller. <sighs> Like there's vi like there's a video there's actually a um, old video of freaking Helen Keller reading lips through what I just described. But then again, she had no choice because she was both blind and deaf. Yeah, but how how could you even understand people at that point? I'm I thought they used I mean, braille. Well, it's probably through the same way Hal Nine Thousand was able to bring out a conversation, read a conversation between Dave and that other guy by just looking at the way <laughs> lips move. Yeah, but how how do they understand like a simple language between that if you can't hear or see, all you have is feeling. Like how can you understand the language through that? There ha I, I, know, I think I, I guess it's some way, but it's hard to describe. I'm not sure. I, I, I guess it's just something I can't understand since they have those senses. So. Yeah, well, well, they do say that if you're deaf or blind, <laughs> your remaining senses are amplified. 
so Mario, there's that. Like, if you can't see, your hearing's a lot better. If you can't hear, your sight's a lot better. I don't argue with you, whatever. So I guess like, basically, the, blo like, the body makes compromise, I guess. Yeah, hmm. I've heard that before. Like, the other height, your senses are heightened. All right. It's I attended Phoenix School for the Deaf, where I achieved my highest qualification. I have so my own school. business. I guess, yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. I have my own business, self-employed. I attend the Catholic. You will get to know more when we meet. Kindly include when your email. We your meet or me meet. What? Did you say when we meet or when me meet? We meet. Oh, damn it. No, it yeah, was exactly. when me meet. Me, 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 me! Oh my god, Brandon, and what the including fuck? Including your email, your complete name, address, and also your personal cell phone number so I can text you in case I need to pass urgent information. And so I can keep sending scam messages every day. Sonic. Sonic right. Now, in a change of pace, we're going to read the response the victim sent. Oh. Sonic says, if... A scammer tries to touch you. Nah. You just say, mate, you're stupid. Nah. <laughs> you. Nah, mate. <laughs> yeah, you, ever, you ever see Sonic and them say, say, kids, if you ever get an email from a scammer, this is what you do. <laughs> you delete. You, yeah, you delete system delete. 32. Delete. Delete. Like, goddamn yeah. Jimmy Neutron now. <laughs> Like, like, like Sonic, or, oh, Jimmy Neutron's like, okay, kids, this is how you, this is how you block emails. Okay, kids. I ate all the cotton candy. Alright. Here's what the victim wrote. Dear Reaction. Sally, thank you for your email. I'm saddened to learn about the loss of your family, and I can completely relate to your decision to move. Besides my caregiving services, I would love to offer you any support I can extend to help make the transition to Oklahoma City easier for you and your son. There's a lot to see and do here, and I'd be happy to help you explore the city. Now a little bit about me. I've been... Alright, that's just a bunch of information. I live in a pretty neighborhood in X. Obviously, she took out the information because she doesn't want people seeing that. Mm -hmm. Um... All right, then she's so she goes over her information. I also want to add, I will be traveling for a wedding from the third to the seventh of November, so I won't be available during these dates. Keep in mind, I'm not reading these word for word because obviously they're not as interesting. But it's the basics of what they said, yeah. Just to make it sound more casual, because you know the scammers are golden, like they have to be completely said to be believed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's what the scammer wrote back. Thank you, hello, thank you for your concern. You seem perfect for this job, and I have decided to choose you for this position. I do hope to have a very eventful time while you look with you while you look after my son. The sitting could be at our place, but if you want Jason at your place, I wouldn't have any problem dropping him. You are free to do outdoors if you wish. The start date will now be 3rd of November. Notice that they completely ignored freaking what the victim said in the <laughs> response. Oh. I'll well. be out of town. Don't worry. Come to your house with me, boys. <laughs> yeah. I'll be out of town November 3rd. The scammer says the start date's November 3rd. Well. Well, you kids, you be alone then. Bye. <laughs> and then it was at this moment that the victim knew she was a victim. <laughs> no, not exactly, but let's see. Um, You would have what? Jason what from 8.30 a.m. through 1.30 p.m., Mondays through Fridays. His nap time ranges between 11.30 and 1.30. Yo, Wait a minute. He's got no name. This guy's got Wait no name. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! Look at that! He's got no name. But his name's what Jason. Is it? <laughs> his name's uh -oh. Jason. Do we have a hacker? Brandon, that happened before. That's not new. Uh, oh no 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 no! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I need to say this. So Jason, quote unquote, is a six-year-old kid. Gets to sleep not at eleven thirty. Not only does he not go to fucking first-grade classes. 
on weekdays. Apparently, he also has a nap time. Wow. He like, like, teacher, teacher, it's my nap time. Stop teaching for a second. Stop teaching. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, what kind of, I'm thinking to myself, how does the victim not go, what kind of six-year-old takes naps? <laughs> yeah. God damn. <sighs> All right. And he has no allergies. For that <laughs> they obviously do that to make the cell for kids, I guess, because they had a food allergy. They can't bring a, bring a babysitter in. They don't want to check the labels. <laughs> Generic. Generic. I, su I suggest that we meet at McDonald's on Sunday. A McDonald's. Sex McDonald's. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Donald's you just said Jewel Audio. <laughs> Jesse specifically had two of him saying the same thing at once. <laughs> Alright. I suggest that we meet at McDonald's on Sunday 2nd before you start working on Monday 3rd. That way we can get to know each other in person and share some interests about ourselves and the babysitting activities. As said in my previous email, the last couple of months hasn't been good and I wouldn't want to get stocked with my son on arrival and I once booked a nanny on and on arrival she told me she got another job which was a big disappointment so I'm willing to make a deposit to you ahead of time to ensure a secured appointment and to avoid disappointment. All one sentence? Yeah. And I like how it says I wouldn't want to get stocked with my son on arrival. Like, what does that even mean? Oh. I wouldn't want to be looked at when we meet. I am planning on having the wheelchair seller deliver it. Wait. Oh, yeah. Move to make it to the pot. Wait. They didn't even build up to you buying the wheelchair. What the fuck? The Elgar remix, yeah. I'm on having the wheelchair seller deliver it to you immediately after payment so you can have it ready for Jason on arrival. Hope that isn't a problem. I ho I would be forward to your email to ensure we are on the same page. Thanks. Thanks for the money, dummy. <laughs> yeah, Dark Side Bill. Alright. Here, here's the thing. Balance the checkbook tonight. Okay. And go through it. Okay. So, when I get out of the shower, I want you to okay. get off of this and spend time with me going through it. Okay. Okay. Who are we playing with? We're in the middle of the podcast. Oh, you're podcasting? Mm hmm. Oh, did, is your mom talking to you like totally annoying? No. Are you not playing with somebody though? Mm mm. Is she gone? No. Okay, here we go. Here's the response from the victim. Dear Sally, thank you for the honor of trusting me with your son. I'd love to offer my assistance, I'm ex and I'm excited to get started. By all means, feel free to have podcast. the wheelchair delivered to my place. But I did, I did say that November 3rd as a start date wouldn't work because, I, as I mentioned in my email, as I mentioned in my previous email, I'm going to be in Vegas from the 3rd until the 7th to attend a family wedding. I hope that doesn't complicate the plans. I'm sorry your last babysitting experience wasn't good, but please know I would never commit and then back out at a later stage for any reason, so an advance won't be necessary. Well. Like I said, I'd love to be a help to you guys, but please let me know if we can still work out something given my travel constraints. We can certainly meet on the 2nd, and I will be back on the 7th, so we can start on the 8th, that won't be a huge inconvenience to you. Let me know if that changes anything, hopefully we'll still be able to work something out. There we go. <laughs> Alright, here's the scammer's response. Hello, thank you for your email. I believe we can work something out as, uh, as to regards to your traveling after meeting on the 2nd. We can meet at the McDonald's at 6 p.m. <gasps> I hope this is a convenient time for you. 
I will appreciate you working for us as one family, not just caregiver. That increases the love and build a great partnership between us. Can you feel the love tonight? Freaking McDonald's. That's what I'm saying. Or sorry, no, Adam McDonald's. No, it's not McDonald's. It's the McDonald's. Yeah, the McDonald's. The McDonald's. Or the McDonald's. Like the uh, original, the original McDonald's. <laughs> the original McChicken. Uh, all right. I was able to finalize with the wheelchair seller. The wheelchair cost two thousand four hundred dollars. So I will oh. be mailing your first week payment. $15 an hour times 5 hours a day equals $75 times 5 days a week equals $375. Of $375 plus <laughs> a deposit of $2,400 to make a total of $2,775 on the check as soon as I hear back from you. The deposit $15. goes to the wheelchair seller on delivery. I will send your address to the seller for the chair delivery so you can pay on delivery as soon as the check clears. Please understand that the aim of having the wheelchair delivered to you is to ensure the wheelchair is available for Jason on arrival. The wheelchair isn't assembled yet. It's still packed in pieces, so it's not big at all. Due to his condition, I wouldn't want any delay with the arrangement of the chair. Kindly let me know if this is clear so I can proceed to mailing the check. And then the victim... And then the victim responds with this. Uh, Sally, I'm afraid I don't quite understand. I haven't rendered any services to you yet, so why are you sending me the advance money? Isn't there some way you could pay the wheelchair guy directly? I'm really confused. <laughs> and then the scammer replies this. Did you go through the email at all? I am paying you in advance, so to secure your services, and I also want the wheelchair to be on the ground before we arrive, so he can start use immediately, and I want it paid for on delivery only! Right now. Oh? Wow. Wow. aggressive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. Turns into a creepy pasta. Yeah, or a shitty but... pasta in this case. And let's just say at this point, the victim learned about the scam, and then she sent a response email saying, Stop, no need to be belligerent. And she ended up confronting the scammer about all the inconsistencies. Not saying it was a scam, though. That's the key thing you need to do with these scammers. Don't tell them you know they're a scammer. Why? What will happen? They'll just simply change their e- they'll just simply discard the email address and just make a new one so all the collected information on them will be lost and therefore victim- it won't- it'll only hurt victims that may need to learn the information in order to protect themselves from the scammers. Womp well, womp. Well. Not to mention, standing up to them like that is not gonna impress them in any way, so... In fact, I remember reading this freaking post, one of the posts on Scam Warners, where the victim was basic, basically made fun of people who victim shamed. And then she proceeded to give a lengthy response about how she gave a very angry email to the scammer saying that she knew he was a scammer. And then she was even making witty comments like, oh, I'm pretty sure he was... I'm pretty sure he was like this at this point. She puts an emoji of a freaking emoji face. And he's making motions as of saying, No, I didn't do it. Funny thing is, that post did not get any replies, probably because the scam warners administrators are like were like looked at her and they were like, Are you fucking serious? <laughs> how how not to how not to respond to scams. Or how not to scam people. Yeah, it's, and besides, it's funnier to just play along with it. <laughs> well, because you never know what they're gonna do. Alright, anyways, we have... Alright, here is one that's not exactly word for word, but it's the one that... But I'm only, I'm only gonna change one thing. 
Alright. I'm only going to change the... There's three paragraphs. I'm only going to change the middle paragraph. Or better yet, maybe can I... So, uh, Snick, how would you, if you were an email scam, what would you say in it? If I made an email scam, well, I wouldn't. Yeah, I know. What would you say? Oh, my God. I would probably, honestly, if I got, if I intentionally submitted myself to an email scam like this, because there's also pet sitting scams and not, I would probably, if one they describe like their kid or their dog or whatever I will probably respond with what do I do if they go into redneck mode <laughs> <laughs> and I to see how they respond <laughs> to be like we are not a redneck we are we just want their dogs to be safe we are not rednecks how dare you <laughs> like, uh, does your kid like Shrek He'll be like Shrek because he'll be watching Shrek forever and ever at my house. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing Shrek every single day of the week. I hope they're fine with that. <laughs> do I, do I, I better like... yet? Better yet, I have a really good game called Shrek on Xbox that I'd love them to try. Imagine if you could just scare this gamer, being like, "I am a cannibal." <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Just that everything. laughs> Oh damn! Oh my god! I think there is someone that had tried that at least once. Oh, sorry, but oh yes, I would love to put your kids in the oven and cook them up and eat them right <laughs> or, up. Or no, 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 say like I, I, I'm so, or, 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 or the best, the best, one, it's the best response. Um, hi, but um, I'm afraid. The government doesn't want let me be around children right now for the next ten years. <laughs> oh damn! If you're on the sex offender list, holy fuck! I mean, obviously this is just to fuck around with scammers, but Jesus, <laughs> heavy stuff. Hey, yeah, I'll accept taking your kid, but um, I'm a sex offender, so fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, but anyways, here's one email that probably has some of the most broken English. All right, you ready? Because I have to read it a bit modified. How are, how are you doing? I'm Christian, and my husband name is David. I asked my aunt to help me seek a babysitter. We are relocating to your neighborhood from New Zealand. I recently got a contract with a company on a private research job. However, we need someone that will help in running some few errands and babysitting. Please send me your zip code. No, please send me your zip code. Zip code. <laughs> like, literally, it's, we will need someone that will help in running some few errands and babysitting. Please send me your zip code. We need someone to work mm. three days per week, per four hours per day, and job includes to pick no, and job includes to pick up of our baby from daycare a few blocks away. Someone that is mature, whether young or older, loves children, reliable and punctual. The nanny will take care of a three-year-old boy for three days a week and will have to take baby home, give him a bath, dinner, brush his hair, clean his lunch kit slash bag, Put backpack Lunch away, kit. sport clothes away, and monitor him. <laughs> All right, I swear, just... is this a freaking army lunch kit? We have to like <laughs> put water kit. in. What, like a meal stuff. ready to eat? Yeah, one of those, a freaking no, I... army lunch kit. Right, no, <laughs> burger in a can. Ew, not a trekking burger. Oh, <laughs> McDonald's no. foot lettuce in a can. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm at Burger King. Go back, go back. McKean Oh yeah, my god, yeah, I was just building it up. Sorry, I have to restart this sentence now because I was building up to big time to the end of the sentence. <laughs> oh. Alright. The nanny will take care of our three-year-old boy for three days a week and will have to take baby home, give him a bath, dinner, brush his hair, 
clean his lunch kit bag, put backpack away, school clothes away, and monitor him with the best care possible. Oh. Responsibilities for the baby will it be to look after him, feed him? Responsibilities for the baby will be to look after him, feed him meals, bath, keep him clean, safe, and of course, change diapers regularly. What? I like what? how this is a three. I like how this is a three-year-old kid. And apparently, he still wears diapers. Yeah, yeah and has a lunchbox. Three-year-old has oh. a lunchbox and wears di wears diapers. How, how old were you, Snick? That. No, we're not talking about that. Yeah, please. I will just simply say four years old. Oh. Nothing more. Yeah, I was how old you were when that incident happened. Four All years right. old. Nothing more. All right, um, okay, I heard you the first time. My kid is my life, so I entrust you to give him the best care. I will be offering you $350 weekly. I will be needing oh. your services for four hours at any suitable time of yours between Monday, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. If you believe you are fit for this position, in as much as you will prove yourself to be a reliable and good person, ah! I can my financial to pay for the first week before our arrival so as to secure your service in advance. I will be waiting to hear from you. Oh. <laughs> Just, you get I one reply. No. I will instruct my financial to pay for the first week. <laughs> well... I will instruct my financials. Money uh, talks. Damn, but anyways. Um, how long has this been going? About an hour, hour and a half. Yep, only oh. half an hour left. Alright, I think it's time to go to my personal favorite. Uh, let's do it. Alright. So here's what the victim says. The victim is apparently Johnny Appleseed. Appleseed? It's a username. Like, he plowed. S H E E D? Sheed? Sheed, yeah. Appleseed. What in the world? Wow. He's, still, he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Chuck Norris version of freaking Johnny Appleseed is the one for that. I, I was for, I, that my teacher read to me in third grade. This is the one that we're talking about. <laughs> the Chuck Norris Johnny Appleseed. He, yeah, he, he threw apples the ground so hard they grew trees. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> no, seriously, like freaking even the teacher had to say that no, the real Johnny, the real fable of Johnny Appleseed wasn't this invincible. <laughs> like <laughs> tree. Weed! Go away from the tree! And the weeds obeyed. <laughs> this version of Johnny... This I'm version, sorry, I am taking up your land. This no, version, I'm very surprised the scammers didn't say something like, um, my kid, my three-year-old kid takes algebra classes. My three-year-old oh, kid is a squid now. Now I he's mean, a kid now. Now he's a squid now. <laughs> So no, I mean, they have what? said that freaking two-year-old kids be driving motorized wheelchairs and six-year-old kids six-year-old kids need freaking diapers and take naps, so there's that. But What's funny is that when you say motorized knows? wheelchairs, oh, when you say motorized wheelchairs, I imagine the freaking jet wheelchair from Happy Wheels. But, <laughs> but here's... Wait, Mario, what'd you say? Okay. Do, what, do you even think the scammer would know what algebra is or... Like, would they be like, oh, I don't know what algebra is, but I know what calculus is. Calculus is easier, right? That's like a fucking little kid's thing. My two-year-old knows calculus. Honors calculus. <laughs> My two-year-old has a college degree. No. Alright, so this is the first email sent by this... <gasps> I have a very unique voice for this guy. Get ready. For once, we have a dad sending the emails instead of a supposed mom. Alright, here we go. Hello, my name is Bill Schofield. 
I need a babysitter for my daughter, which is three years and six months old daughter. Kindly. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my daughter is three months. By the way, she's a daughter. <laughs> my daughter is a daughter and she is girl. I fucking lost it. Oh my god, I almost <laughs> forgot to unmute my OBS. I th almost thought you said, <laughs> and she is gorilla. Glory. My oh. daughter is gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's Damn. see if I can get through this without fucking bursting out laughing. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bear Schofield. I need a babysitter for my daughter, which is three years and six months old daughter. Kindly email me on Bill Schofield at bro bullshit because I'm not naming the email address. Bro Why does he sound like a Diet Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> That's what I've always <laughs> imagined this guy, what? his voice says for some reason. Diet Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh my fucking god. That hey, sounds ridiculous. Email me on this email if you are interested in working for my family. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Go away now. Like diet or diet for three years. So yeah, all, all, all the muscle money dummy less, less calories. <laughs> Anyways, the victim responds back saying that he or she's interested. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> Brandon. The, here is the first reply from the scammer. Hello. Thanks for the interest in working with our family. We are a very busy parent. Our work requires almost fifteen hours a day because we are <laughs> What? I'm like sounding like a Rastafarian. <laughs> fifteen hours oh, a man. day. We need the fifteen hours a day, man. Jesus fucking really? Christ! Really? I sounded like that. Holy fuck! Yeah, you started sounding like a Rastafarian, and I was like, okay, so the scammer went from hello to hey, yo, man, how's it going, my diamond, the Rastafar? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm just picturing the Arnold voice, how about that? <laughs> Alright. We are a very busy parent. Our work will require almost 15 hours a day because we are a small-scale business owner. <laughs> we need your service for our daughter. She's three years and six months old. <sighs> Below are the three offers we have. You are required to choose the ones you can do, or take two out of the three offer, or you can even take all if it is only convenient for you. Monday to Wednesday, 9.10 a.m. to 4.10 p.m. Thursday to Friday, 4.10 p.m. to 7.40 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are paying $20 per hour per weekend. $20? $20 per hour. $20 per hour per weekend. What? <laughs> I wish it said that. I wish it said that. <laughs> that reminds me of this one time I heard someone say, 24 hour, 365 a week. <laughs> 24 hour, 365 days a week. That's almost as bad as can you bend your arm in a 45 degree angle? Yeah, I remember oh, Little Caesars. Okay, can you bend your arm a 45 degree angle and can you bend your back at a 90 degree angle? No, actually, no, no, it wasn't like that. No, the arms wasn't like that. The arms were actually like, can you lift one or more of your arms above your shoulders up to 100%? <laughs> up to 100%. Well, something like when that. You, you know what? I'm gonna find the fucking. English you know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna find the fucking picture. Hold on. What? What? What are we fighting right, for? Anyways, Holy let me on. finish this up. Let me know which one you are interested to do out of the three you offer, or if you are willing to take more than one, please let me know as soon as possible. Note, uh -oh. please get back to me with your area zip code so I can figure out how far our house address is to yours. Thanks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, I, it, it, did, did you understand any of that? No. Because it was <laughs> It was in all caps, so I'll just read it normally. Please I'll get back to me with your area zip... No. Please get back to me with your area zip code so I can figure out how far our house address is. 
to yours. Yeah. Wow. Oh, let me, so I so that, that I can figure out how far is our Howard dress to yours. Jesus Christ. All right. The victim responds with a zip code. The scammer responds with a freaking email that's headed with three question marks. As if the scammer's like, what the fuck? <laughs> How dare you? What? Right, Wait, who go. said how dare you? Why now I'm confused. Because the question marks as if the scammer was offended by what they what zip code they gave them. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So the victim gives zip code and then the scammer says how dare you? No. Be like, be like, the email heading was three question marks as if and like just reading the heading alone and the scammer reading the heading alone you would think the scammer is just like what the fuck are you talking about or something. Be like I ain't taking my even I don't think I I may be a scammer, but I'm taking I'm taking my fake kid in your neighborhood. <laughs> wow. It's like it's like like I'm too good for your neighborhood, pal. <laughs> Anyways, this is what the email inside of it. This is what the email actually says. Hello. Thanks for the response. I am so sorry for my late response. I have been so busy lately. We like to we like to know more about you if you don't mind. I mean, like, the kind of people you've worked with in the past in the email address? What is the assurance that you will be able to resume to work on time? Has your appointment been terminated by any of your previous employer? If so, give reason for this. Are you single? A single mother? Married? For how long will you be able to work for us? You could also supply... You can all also supply any additional information like location where you grew up, etc. Your responsibilities um, will play a major role in qualifying you for the job position. I'll be back. Sorry. Okay. The job is going to last long. All depends on how long you like to work for us. Your choice could be three months, six months, one year or more. Our house address is, insert address there, awaiting your prompt response by email. Thanks. Uh, lifetime. Huh? Uh, lifetime. Lifetime? <laughs> Anyways, the victim responds with um, an email detailing their experience. And... The, the scammer responds back with an email with the, that has the header acceptance. Ex like, I accept you. Except there's one problem. Nothing was written in the body. Literally, it was just an empty email with the header acceptance. All right. Here we go. This is where it gets good. The victim gets confused and responds back saying, Uh, hi, is there a week you would like me to meet your family or start? The scammer never responds. Wow. So I'm guessing by that point, I'll right, call them out and he cancels that email. <laughs> no, this is what the victim did. The victim ended up starting a new email chain, sending a completely new email to the scammer. You want to know how the scammer responds? Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Hello. Thanks for the interest in working with our family. We are a very busy parent. Our work requires almost 15 hours a day because we are a small-scale business owner. We need your service for our daughter. She's three years and six months old. Below are the three offers we have. You are required to choose the ones you can do or take two out of the three offers, or you can even take all if it is only convenient for you. Monday to, Monday to Wednesday, 9, 10 a.m. to 4, 10 p.m. Thursday to Friday, 4, 10 p.m. to 7, 40 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. We are paying $20 per hour on, for weekends and $22 per hour for weekdays. 
Let me know which one you are interested to do at the three offer. If you're willing to take more than one, please let me know as soon as possible. Note. Please get back to me with your area zip code so I can figure out how far is our house address to yours. Thanks. Did anyone notice anything wrong? What? This whole thing is wrong. The no one noticed what was wrong. Not the person who realized it was a scam by now. The scammer sent the exact same first email back. Uh, oh. My daughter has not aged at one bit. <laughs> no, seriously, like... No, no, seriously, the scammer completely forgot the victim even existed and thinks that the victim responding back is a brand new person. Oh my god. Wow. It's like, did, were they scamming like that many people at once that it just melded together in their brain? Like, <laughs> I guess. 80 different people at once. How do I read past messages? Uh, I don't know. Oh well, I'm sure this guy's new. Hello, the new problem person. Problem is, this is the only case of this happening that I found. Oh my god. When scammers get scammed today. <laughs> oh my god. So the victim is thinking to themselves, like word for word, the scammer says. I thought he was an absent-minded man, so I emailed him back replying I had already answered these questions. Jesus Christ. <sighs> so the scammer responds this. Alright, sounds cool. Please, I would like you to send me your earlier zip code. Oh. So the victim was kind of catching on at this point, and they ended up sending um, a, a zip code that was completely different from last time. And the scammer proceeded to send the second email all over again, just with a different address. I can Care really, to hear this? I can yeah. really lose this city now. <laughs> 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 Anyone care to hear the second email again? You know we do. So don't ask All the right. question. Alright. Um, Hello. Thanks for the response. I am so sorry for my late response. I have been so busy lately. We'd like to know more about you if you, do, if you don't mind. I mean like the kind of people you've worked with in the past and email address. What is the assurance you'll be able to resume to work on time? Has your appointment been terminated by any of your previous employer? If so, give reason for this. Are you single? A single mother? Married? For how long will you be able to work for us? You could also supply any additional information like location where you grew up, etc. Your I... response to these will play a major role in qualifying you for the job position. I grew up in Juvenile Hall, and right now I'm serving two to the four years in maximum state prison. I hope your kid can be around um, uh, other prisoners. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. But yeah, that one, just showing complete incompetence on the scammer's part. Oh. Like, the scammer didn't know how to scam. <laughs> Wow, apparently... Okay, they, here's some news for today. So apparently Gran Turismo has lots of microtransactions and Sony is facing lots of backlash for it. Apparently, Wall Street is betting against Nintendo and think that their stocks are going to continue to fall and stuff like that. Like, they bet 40... Like, $400 million that they think Nintendo is going to start failing and losing traction so yeah Pokemon um, 2019 still has to come out and smash and Poke <laughs> let's go even let's go Pikachu so I guess Wall Street you know, those shitty too. games those uh, two shitty games they also so Jesse, sell well so Jesse do you know exactly what happened what went wrong with that email scam 
I wasn't paying full attention and I just got back, so... Alright, so basically, to make a long story short, so you know the second email, right? Where the guy goes over a whole thing, goes in over in complete broken English all the information the victim has to submit. And then the victim submits the information, sends a third email titled acceptance with nothing written in the body. And the victim sends a response saying, when do you want me to start working? Scammer doesn't respond. So the victim sends, starts a new email chain, sending a new email to the victim, to the scammer. The scammer proceeds to just send the very first email all over again. And when the victim's like, what? But I already did this stuff. The scammer is more or less just, all right, sounds cool. Please, I would like you to send me your area zip code. Well, oh my god. Uh, yeah, then, where they just forgot they were another person. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah next time, you definitely got a screen share of this stuff so we can see it. I mean, there's many different kinds of scams, like scams over the phone and more email scams like this. I need to track some down if there's any that look super incompetent like this. <laughs> But hey, yeah. Brandon, whatever happened to your your skin you did? You make a video about it, didn't you? I don't even know if he's here. Brandon, are you there? His mom claimed it, it sounded like his mom was pulling him away to balance a checkbook. For uh, yeah. some reason. I'm, I don't know why, but What does balancing a checkbook even mean? It it, it means to make sure the money you have in your account is the same money you have in your checkbook. Oh, okay. People that people that write checks. Here's how here's how it works. People, oh, hold on, hold on, let me see. I get my my little checkbook. Hold on, be right back. Right. Oh God, he has a checkbook. Wow, he is old. Oh. Anyway. But Brandon ended up missing right. you. Never mind, don't have any more. But anyways, back in, back in the day when people still wrote checks, when they write a check. They they write them out, deposit them out, you know, the thing. I take out this much money in my account and you know, add, subtract, whatever. And then at the end of the day, end of the month, the bank sends you a bank statement. And you gotta make sure all the money on there versus the money in your checkbook. That's how you balance the checkbook. Yeah. I I understand that now. Thanks. Um I'm just trying to think. So, out of all the freaking emails I read out, which one was the funniest? The last one. Uh huh. Yeah. Especially my daughter has a daughter. <laughs> I like all of them. I like all of them. By the uh, way, the thing with Lil Caesars, as I was trying to say earlier, was they were their application was like. The, you must have the ability to do the following. Lift one or both arms overhead up to 100%. Lift one or both arms from your sides up to 100%. Bending of one or both arms to your shoulders up to 100%. Bending of the back up to a minimum of 90 degrees to lift objects from the floor. Twisting of the back up to 90 degrees left and right. Lifting up to 55 pounds, pushing and pulling up to 55 pounds, squat or crouch, crouch, nice, squat or crouch to lift items from floor level. Great application. Great. Great value, Barilli. Barilli! Anyways, yeah, that's all I had to say about that. Yeah. And then there were four. I think I wore out my voice doing all uh, that. Uh, so... Gabe, were there any big responses in the chat, or is there a, is there no chat? No, there's no chat. I was hoping the people from Mario Stream would come over, but they didn't. God, I'm start dual stream. Gabe. I'm going to start, start dual streaming again. Even though, even though, you, even though I'm not supposed to. Maybe I should start. I'm not that po I'm not that popular yet. Maybe I can get away with it. Huh. Oh, maybe I go back to re maybe I go back to restreaming. Well, I mean, 
the only way you could do it like without getting back. caught is if someone else was hosting it at the same time as someone was hosting the one on Twitch. So basically, in other words, have two hosts. Uh. So then, therefore, it wouldn't be under your account. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways, all right. What have we learned today? That my we've brain learned, is also. We've learned that people who do email scams can't speak English or write English or no English. What about left English? <laughs> that either. English. Oh. We've also learned that they're idiots. They're like, yes, yes, I agree. Or, yes, November 3rd is a great time to start. And they, they, we learned they don't read the email responses most, most of the time. We've also learned that it's okay to cry when you're fucking, when the fucking Bambi's mom dies. <laughs> <laughs> or the old yeller gets what? shot. Or Chalky gets speared of spears. So, remember... If you are ever scanned, scanned on the phone or email, go watch an anime or game because it will make you laugh. This has been Day 98 saying, never stop learning and enjoy the randomness. We'll see, all, we'll see you all Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. No buzz from Schnick. Oh. Is it a scam or is it a spam? Shit, I don't know.